Hello, welcome to our video. We're going to talk about combining indicators together so that you get a single alert when they come into agreement. And usually by combining indicators together, you do get a better signal. Now, in MetaTrader, by default, you'd have to do programming to do that, and it'd be really fiddly and awkward. But what we're going to do in this video is show you how to do it without programming. And that's going to be by using a third party products called indicator combine merge and the job of this is to combine indicators both standard and also custom indicators as well even if you've just got the ex4 ex5 file or you've purchased some from market and then so you get a, a alert when they're all in agreement and it even generates stats so you can actually see you know what works and what doesn't so we've got it written on the chart. Um, so it's got down here the indicator itself, but it's also got a control panel with some statistics that we'll be talking about in a moment and a little tick box so you can turn the alert uh, on and off. And it comes pre-configured with some indicators. Um, so that's what you can see being shown down here. Okay, so let's have a look at what indicators we've got configured. And if you click the config button, We've got these nice pop-ups so you can configure the system and the indicators being captured are with this indicators button and what it's configured to is the indicators that we supply by default which is a couple of standard indicators we'll look at the awesome oscillator which is a very nice standard indicator built into metatrader that gives you a nice buy sell signal and then we've also got adx now adx main this is quite an interesting one it tells you if the market is trending or not so that's what we're looking for and we're capturing it. We'll explain more about these boxes, don't worry. Uh, but we're looking there where the ADX main, the value is above mid and the midpoint is 25. So that means that the market is trending. Now on terms of stop loss, if we go to config, we've got automatic stop loss. We've got various calculation methods available. So we've got uh, ATR, average true range, and we've got a period 72.5 multiply factor. You can do fixed pips as well. And then on the take profit, we've got a 1.5 risk reward ratio. We can set pips as well. And you can get it to exit on the opposite signal. So if the indicator goes in the other direction, we also spot break even as well. So you've got all of those options. And then from all of those settings, you get the stats. So the reason why the win ratio is less than 50, but we're still getting a profit is because of that risk reward ratio. So 1.5 means you're going to be 50% more than your loss when you do a win. Now you may wonder what these gray X is for. And what that is, is we've set on the ADX check. This is a really great feature. There's this priority box. And when we set it there, normally it's on normal. But we've actually set high and start. And what that does is, if the market is not trending, when we get a color change on the awesome oscillator, then it doesn't trade. So you get these gray X's. So if you've got that priority high and start, you get the gray X's. And the gray X's mean if there's a color change, then don't trade it. Because it means the market isn't trending. And you see that was a really wise thing. So we, got, we did get a little bit of a signal here, but actually the market was just consolidating a bit. So quite wisely, it waited till here before it opened a trade where the market is already shown as trending. So that's just a really nice feature for things like checks like this and upper time frame checks as well, where again, you don't want to wait until the upper time frame is in agreement. You just want to avoid any trades that don't agree with the upper time frame. Now, the next great feature is that we've got the product running on different uh, time, different charts. So that's different symbols, different time frames. I've got this wonderful tick box here, show other chart results. And if you tick that, where it does, it goes to those other charts and then it has a look at the stats and it's able to read them and then compile them into a table ordered on profit. So it's just a really good way of just seeing, you know, the best symbols to trade and the best time frames as well. So it takes, you know, both the symbol and time frame into consideration. And then what you can do is make configuration changes, perhaps adding an indicator, changing an indicator import, or even like trading hours, changing the stop loss, take profit. And you can see the effect on the stats. So really these stats, this product is not just allowing you to combine indicators, it's allowing you to actually see what works and what doesn't. So if you go to config, let's say, let's imagine on the take profit, that what we want to also do is to exit 
when the awesome oscillator goes into the other direction. So we've got there, so if it goes 100% into the other direction, we're exiting 100%, and we do support partial closes, so you can have like two take profit targets, for instance, where you could close 50% and then 100%. So there's you know, a very flexible system. Click save, so what's gonna happen is all those charts are gonna recalculate. It's super fast, much, much faster than using the strategy tester. And then you've got this bottom row here, change on last. So that looks at the average and to see if it was an improvement or not. And it wasn't. It actually dropped the profit down, the average profit. So therefore, what you can do is they've got this revert button. And if you press that, it'll just go back to the previous conf configuration. Um, so you can use it to just try something. And if it doesn't help, if it doesn't improve the profit. And also we do work out the drawdown as well. So you can have a little look at that. Then you can just revert back and try something else. Okay, so let's show you now how to configure a custom indicator. So let's have a look. We've got here, we've got a super trend. Let's just put on the chart just so you can see what it looks like. The indicators don't have to be on the chart for the, the product to work because it's capturing it for themselves, but uh, just so you can just see how, what it looks like. And very typically it's got like color changes. So you buy is usually like the blue or green and then you've got the sell invariably a red. And if we right click there, we can see the colors that are in use. And what we're really interested in is color indexes. So the, the top one is zero. We've got the buy one is color index one. And then the sell is color index two. Okay, so to configure it, go to config indicators. Uh, we're going to put in the little reference, super trend. Now I should say we have got a separate video that goes into more detail and explains these like capture modes and so on. We'll put a link in the top uh, corner there. So I do recommend watching that uh, perhaps after this video, but it's not that hard. And what we need to do is to put in the indicator name as it appears in your navigator. If it was in a subfolder, you would have to include that as well as we've shown you there in that example. And then we just need to set this color index. So it was the buy one goes first, which was one comma separated to and then that's it that's all we need to do if we click save then what it's done it's save that configuration all the charts have recalculated so all these different symbols and everything and we've seen that the average profit has been improved the change on last is showing us we've increased the average profit from all the charts by one point nine four percent which is great we've even slightly reduced the drawdown as well because obviously drawdown you want to get that lower so we've seen a minus figure that's great and then what you can see with the indicator combine is the orange is where only either neither or you know we've got perhaps awesome oscillators doing one direction and then super trend doing the other and then we've got the gray x there is that uh, adx check and that's what you can do you can add in uh, various custom indicators and just see what works and what doesn't. Now in terms of ideas of what indicators to add, if you go to config, we've got the a list of all the standard ones that we've got built in down there. We've got a few of our own as well, things like we've got a trend pro there, we've got price action which looks at like the if it's a bear or bull candle that's quite popular. Uh, also if you go to our website, so you need to go to runwisefx.com forward slash library and in there we've got a couple of entries we've got uh, custom indicator settings and standard in the standard we explain those standard indicators that i've just ex just shown you there and also a few extra ones as well but what's really nice is we've got a section for custom indicators uh, so we start off with some free ones we give you like the download link and if you click on details you can actually just like see how it's configured. So we're just showing you what you need to set those boxes to. So it just makes it really easy for you. So we've got uh, free indicators and some popular paid for custom indicators as well. So you can just mix those in and just work out what works and what doesn't by looking at the stats. Okay, just a couple of smaller features to talk about. Uh, in the config, we've got this general tab. Um, and what you can do, you can actually set some trading hours. So you can again see how the trading hours affects the stats. 
You can specify how many candles it looks back when it's generating the stats. And you may need, on MetaTrader 4, you may need to use the history center to just download a bit more history. And we do have for binary option traders, we've got a, an expiry where you can put in the expiry there. So it'll calculate the stats as if you were trading with a binary options broker where you get the 85% payoff. We do take spread into consideration with the stats and there's a, an input that you can set to, to change that. Now the final big thing to talk about is converting this into an EA. So at the moment, indicator combined is, is an indicator. So the most it can do is to alert you. So you get a pop-up alert, or you can do like an email notification or a notification to mobile. But it can be really nice to automate. So it'll actually open a trade automatically, or at least even exit a trade automatically. And what we've done to make that possible is we've done a lot of work with our ultimate trade manager, which is our trade like panel uh, that will put like a trade manager on your chart. And what we've done is to integrate it so that it'll work with indicator combine. And we made it look, work really, really easily. So what it'll do is it'll, if it sees that you've got indicator combine product, then it will automatically bring that functionality into the trade manager. So if you watch the video, for this you'll you'll see that at the end of the video where we'll go through uh, using it um, where it can actually trade automatically uh, and and it can it's, it's such a great product and it's you can rent it just for a really low cost actually and uh, you can even control it from your mobile as well which is i don't think there's any other product that does that so definitely uh, check that out and the one extra thing that you get with this is it can also do automatic optimization, which is really helpful. So for example, if we go back to that stop loss, we had all those different calculation methods and most of them do have different inputs. And then on take profit, there was lots of options there, wasn't there? You know, you could do partial closes. And what the automatic optimizer will do is to try all those different settings for you automatically and optimize and then save the results to the file. So that's a huge feature, which is available when you incorporate it with our EA. So definitely check that out. It allows you to take things to the next level. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, please do email us at support at runwisefx.com.